Hello everybody, Lady B here. I uh, just want to share something with you that I found on the internet. Of course, everything's found on the internet. But anyhow, uh, I found this on a website called Dirt Time. And he says that he found it from Intense Angler on YouTube. I didn't check out Intense Angler's YouTube channel out. I just try to come in here and decide I'm going to try it and share it with you at the same time. But anyhow, these are supposed to be self-igniting fire starters. And you go get, if you can see it here, uh, Strike Anywhere Matches. And for you, uh, uh, anybody out there that's looking, I always find these at any kind of an Ace Hardware. Anytime I go out there, I buy usually what's on the shelf. I know, you're probably saying that's awful selfish of me. But this time there was only four. But I did go ahead and pick them up. Anyhow, uh, you use a square of toilet paper. Just a square. That's just one square. This is Charmin. That's what he recommends. And that's all we use anyhow. That's too much information, I'm sure. <laughs> but anyhow, um, you take that and fold it in half. You take your scissors and you cut it. Then you take your matches and you start. Stick out your headpiece over here. Line it up pretty good. And then you start just start rolling. And over here on the stove, I've got wax that's already melted. After you get it wound real tight, you take it over here, and I just hold it by the tip, and you come over here and dip it in your wax. And you lay it there to dry. And I'll do another one for you. Of course, it's not too awfully hard. I'm sure you know how to do it yourself. But anyhow, uh, for you all that have a hard time finding wax or candles or anything anywhere, if you'll check out your local flower shop, uh, they have weddings all the time, and they have what they call mechanical candles, but inside those are actual real candles. They just don't drip on the outside. But anyhow, go by your local florist and see what they do with their leftover candles when they pick up their equipment. And see if he'll let you have them. Maybe save them for you. I was lucky enough to work for a flower shop. And I saved quite a bit of candle wax. I had a whole big popcorn thing full. And that's what I dug, dug into to make all my fire starters. And I'll show you something here in just a minute as soon as I wind this. But everybody's done all this and that's what I got from YouTube. But I haven't tried these yet. One of them is a tuna can. And you put cardboard in it. All wound up tight in it and then pour the wax, hot wax on top of that. Well, I took somebody's advice once and they said to put it in there really tight. Well, I did. And there wasn't any room for the wax. But anyhow, this is one that looks okay, I guess. But I stuck some cardboard in here, just little cardboard strips, little pieces. To act kind of like a wick. So I'll wait till this summer and light it and see what happens. Don't want to light it in the house. And I've also done this one. And I think it might be a little bit too much wax. But I did that all with cotton balls. And I've left a little bit of cotton up here. For like a wick. Something just to light. So I'll probably burn that at the same time I burn the other one. Just to see how it goes. But anyhow. 
uh, let's take one of these and we'll light it and see how long it burns. Oh, one thing I didn't do was fluff up. He said to fluff up the end of the paper, but it looks like it's catching pretty good. Okay. I'll set my timer here. And we'll see how it goes. Let's see if you can see that. There it is. Looks like it's going pretty good to me. Put you up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. Now, if you were out in the woods and you were trying to build a fire, you had this start fire starter. It's going to give you plenty of time to put your kindling and your wood and dry grasses, whatever you're going to use on that to get your fire started. Now, that's something that I haven't done. Because I haven't been camping since I was four years old. And I hope to rectify that this summer. <laughs> and we've also got a tent that I've never put up. My son borrowed at one time to let his son and him camp out in the yard. And he put it up. But at that time it had instructions in it. Which, yes, I do read instructions. But, <laughs> I don't even know if all the parts are still there. Don't have a clue. And we really need to do that before we actually need it. So, I'd like to go out to the local national park, their camping area. And, may rent it for a, a night. I don't think I could do it all weekend. Don't know. But I'd like to try it at least for a, a night. My daughter goes out there and camps all the time during the summer. And I've gone out and visited with her. But it's a really nice place. So I thought I'd go check it out and set everything up and <laughs> see just how I can rough it. Like I said, I haven't been camping since I was four years old. And that's when my family went with another family. And we camped, camped on the banks of the High River. Yeah, that was way back when it was safe. Didn't have anything to worry about. And the High River was so clean back then. Well, cleaner, a lot cleaner than it is now. But anyhow, we all camped for the whole weekend and had a really great time. Those friends of ours were our very first friends when we moved over here. Oh, I think I was about three years old. And no, uh, we won't discuss how long ago that's been. I can hear all of you snickering. <laughs> but anyhow. Wow, this thing's getting hot. Smoking a little bit. Hope my smoke alarm don't go off. If it does, you'll hear it. <laughs> Okay, we are up to three minutes and 30 seconds. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself. Ah. Looks like not. So we'll just leave it lay right there and burn out. <laughs> oh, I know. I can take my chopsticks and move it. See, chopsticks are good for more than just eating. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you wouldn't even try that. But, me being half Japanese, I uh, was born around them. Don't use them as much as I should. But, anyhow. also found this little case here. Whoops. Put it back here so you can see it. Just a plastic case. 
what I thought I would do. Just put a bunch of these in here. That way I'd have something stored in. Yep, oh, and we went out and we are at four minutes and fifty seconds. So I'd say four and a half minutes to be safe play it safe. But anyhow, that's all there is to this one. <laughs> I appreciate you all going on this little experiment with me. But I uh, thank you for watching. So if you like my videos, subscribe, like, comment. And thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.